Hey yo, this is Dash, and today I'm using the Weber kettle to cook something that I've never cooked before. Now today's cook was actually inspired by three different YouTube cooks. I won't say chefs, but three YouTube cooks. First one was my man Alton. I saw Alton cook a porchetta a few months back and actually wanted to cook this for my wife. But when we went to Texas, if you don't remember me going to Texas, there's a bunch of videos from my Texas trip. When we went to Texas and she had the porchetta in person, she's been bugging me to do a porchetta at some point. I found some pork belly on sale at Costco, so I picked it up. You guys are going to be venturing along with me because I've never done this before. Second cook who I saw do a porchetta was, I believe his name is Andrew from Binging with Babish. I took a few of the keys and cues of some of the things that he did and I used them in the preparation of this particular meat. And last but not least, we have Brandon. Brandon Taylor from Taylor's Fire and Smoke Cooking. He didn't do a pork belly, he did a pork loin, but he used the seasoning that I'm gonna be using on the outside of this meat today. So, I say all of that to say, join me while I get this done. Hey yo, this is Dash. Get ready. Hey yo, this is Dash. And today I'm doing something I've never done before. It's gonna be a pork belly, but I'm gonna be making porchetta from this pork belly. This was almost a nine pound pork belly I got from Costco. It was on sale and that was the reason why I got it. But, so the first thing is I'm going to, there's a side that there's a lot of fat on and there's a side with less fat on it. This side is going to be, the side with less fat is going to be where I am going to roll on the interior piece of the porchetta. Now because there is some fat here, I'm going to trim up some of this fat and trim it off, actually cut it off because the skin is not gonna actually do much of anything inside when it's wrapped up. So we're gonna trim that piece off, but we're going to, we're still gonna leave the fat there. We're just gonna trim off the skin. That'll probably just give us a little bit of an off taste. <clears throat> All right, so now, I have the bits and pieces everywhere else is, is, is fat on the outside here and or exposed belly meat. I've seen scores running a long way. So we'll do that. Now these scores are probably a quarter to a half inch deep. I'm just trying to get in between the skin there so that when I get my seasoning on there, It'll help get some of that seasoning down in the meat. And these are probably about half inch apart. Make sure we got down in there on that one. Now what I'm gonna do on the inside, I'm gonna flip this over. And I'm actually gonna score the inside of this meat as well to promote our seasonings getting down in there. Now these are about an inch apart and probably about a half inch deep. Now I'm gonna go right to, or on this angle, and I'm also gonna come back on this angle. All right, so now that we have everything scored, I'm gonna be seasoning this porchetta today. On the inside, I'm gonna be using some fajita seasoning. Just make sure I add, you know, for some salt. 
And this this is a uh, Fiesta brand fajita seasoning, and it really has a really decent flavor all by itself. Now I'm going to put a nice coat on this and I'm actually gonna kind of spread out the meat a little bit to hopefully get some of that seasoning down in between those cuts. So this can be really seasoned well. All right, next up, I have some pesto. Now this is where I'm differing from majority of the recipes. Wow, that smells good. It's basically basil and oil for the most part. There's not much salt in a pesto, which is why I added the salt first. So I'm gonna pour the pesto. Out. And get the pesto rubbed in. And I'm just gonna send it. I'm gonna use the whole can, the whole bottle. That was really good. All right, so now I've never actually done anything with a porchetta before. I think I may have said that a time or two already. So now I'm getting it rubbed in and I'm trying to get it down into the crevices again where I put those slits in the meat. But so far, so good. All right. So now that's taken care of. Now the next piece is gonna just be me rolling it up and tying it up. And then I'm gonna get the outside piece seasoned. So let's change my glove so that I don't get any of the pestle on the outside. All right, so now I have clean gloves. And again, this is the side. Oh, this was the side. Yes, yeah, this is the side with the more it was exposed the meat and the fat was there was less and i'm rolling this up and we are going to whew, i still managed to get a little bit of the pesto on the outside but it'll be all right what do you think <laughs> this is the first time me doing this I have some butcher twine. I'm gonna get that over here. And we're gonna get these get this tied up. Let's see if I can do this. I've only used butcher twine a handful of times. Oh crap. How'd I do? Uh, I've never done anything like this before. So hopefully you don't uh, look down upon me for how I got it done. Now the next step is I'm gonna be doing this outside on the Weber kettle with the rotisserie. So the next step is for is going to be me getting it loaded onto the rotisserie um, skewer. Now because my hands are dirty. I'm going to try not to touch the handle with the with my hands yet. But once we get it outside, obviously that's going to 
I'm gonna use my hands. All right, so I'm gonna get it in here. Now I'm not gonna put the, I'm not gonna tighten the screws like death grip tighten the screws yet because I want to try to get the Porchetta centered in the grill. So I'm just gonna leave these loosely affixed, but I am gonna push them on and try to get them kind of coaxed in to help hold everything together. Now, before I head outside, I'm going to actually take the complete seasoning and I'm going to season the outside of this porchetta with this complete seasoning. And it's a big old piece of meat, so don't be afraid to season it. This complete seasoning smells really herby as well. It's pretty crazy. How have I never used this before? Thanks, Brandon. He uses this all the time in his cooks and his cooking. Season the ends as well. All right. Now I'm just gonna let this hang out here while I go and get the grill started. So I'll see you guys outside at the grill. So I am out at the grill and I have my slow and sear loaded. And of course we have to use the grill gun, right? So I'm just gonna get the charcoal started. Time to set up the rotisserie ring and I'll get the porchetta. All right. So, here's the moment we've all been waiting for. Perfect. <laughs> All right. Now we're just going to let this sit here and get dizzy. All right. There she goes. Round and round. Hopefully everything turns out okay. I actually did tighten the nuts. Why, why didn't the wing nuts? Why didn't somebody remind me? Let's turn this off. That one's pretty good. And actually, let's move this up just. So I'm going to move this up just a little bit. So I can have it centered. A little better. All right, we are good to go. My hands are rightfully messy. I can get this thing started. Perfect. All right, now I'm going to get the grate turned off or the inlet turned off to about a quarter open I'm gonna close this off and we'll let it do its thing I'll see it in a couple hours is listed the peel box if you want to send us something to try a sauce a seasoning some jerky feel free something funny 
something for us to try, send it to the P.O. box below. It's always listed in the description. But thank you for watching. If you haven't already, please do subscribe. Join us on Wednesday night at 9 p.m. Eastern. We go live for two hours. In the first hour, we talk about barbecue or something barbecue business related. The second hour, come as you please and bring your flesh. And we talk about anything. And then we talk about anything. All right. Well, not her, but me. So. Sometimes yeah. I peek. peek yes, you do. So you want to tell them thank thank them again for watching. Thank you again for watching. And we'll see you. Oh, I'm sorry. And please do subscribe, and we'll see you next time. All right. Thank you Bye. guys. Bye.